hi it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio this is for Scorpio Sun Moon rising and Venus and this is for the month of October so we're just gonna see what comes up this is for Scorpio October happy birthday for you Scorpios born in October start right here what do we have for Scorpio for October We have for Scorpio. Thriving. So yeah, you're gonna be thriving in October by the looks of things. I mean I mean the card speaks for itself. There's really not much more to say other than you're gonna be on top of your game. Okay, it's probably going to be a very mu a very good month of you feeling good, looking good, doing your best. Um, people noticing it, noticing your accomplishments. Um, you're going to be shining by the looks of things. So that's fantastic. It's going to be a good month. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Ten of coins. Well, I guess you are going to be very abundant. This is uh, very successful. Okay, so this is very comfortable. Uh, having it all uh, at ease. Nothing to worry about. This is financial success. Uh, happiness at home. Getting together. Uh, celebrations. I mean, it just looks really, really good. It looks like it's a very... Uh, warm, loving atmosphere. There's a lot of abundance here. Prosperity, family time. I mean, it looks really, really good. And it looks like you're going to be... Uh, it's going to be a very comfortable month by the looks of things. Some of you may be starting a family or having a family get-together. There could be a, a new home or a change in residence. Whatever it is, it's positive. It looks positive. Um, I don't think you're going to be struggling as much financially if you have been. Things are probably going to get better. Stay with that. Dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. You know, I think that, that that is exactly as it says. I think that you you have some fear. You may be worried, but maybe you're worrying needlessly. It feels like it's a needless worry because I feel like you're thriving. Scales, keep your life in balance. You could be dealing with a Libra this month. You may not be, but I think that fear and worry are your biggest problem right now. Because I think that you're, wherever you're at, it's stable. It looks like it's stable, it's solid, it's secure. If this is job related, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Um, we'll see, we'll see. This is about keeping your life in balance, keeping your emotions in balance. Okay, well, we got the Emperor Reverse just flipped over. You could have a boss or a father or a husband that is belittling you, that doesn't respect you. Um, this person is unreasonable. Looks like you do have somebody here that is very bossy, very uh, maybe shallow, maybe superficial. Um, disorganized, maybe causing you some sort of problems. Maybe they're the ones that is causing you the worry. This is this is somebody that is mean spirited. Ah, feeling hopeless. Ah, King of Wands reversed. Interesting. So you may be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel as though you are definitely dealing with somebody that is absolutely unreasonable. It feels like it's a boss or this person thinks they are the boss of you. Okay, it could be a father figure. This person is definitely hard to work with and you may be feeling hopeless. You may be feeling like 
you can't do this anymore. I think that you're trying to thrive and I think that you are meant to thrive, but there is somebody in your environment, could be in your home or in your work environment or both or whatever, that you may be dealing with a narcissist. Okay, you can't please this person for any reason whatsoever. This person is uh, mean, okay? They're entitled. They may do things illegally. They don't like to accept responsibility for their actions. They may blame everything on you. Um, and I feel like they're causing you some sort of fear and depression. And, you know, they're, they're bringing you down. I feel like this person, they're just, they're very uh, hard to work with. You definitely have somebody here that is, I feel like it's a narcissist. Um... They don't communicate well. You have some sort of feelings from this person. Could be a father-child relationship or this person treats you like a child. I feel as though they, they lie a lot, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, they don't tell the truth. They, they, uh, they're working against you. Somebody is working against you. It's almost like they try to bring you down. Um, I think that this is making, it's playing on your emotions. I think that it's it's really affecting your feelings for this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. I feel like you you definitely love this person, or you have. And I don't know if it's your job. If it's your job, you may not love them. But this is like emotional. I do feel like it's emotional. Make sure that you're not being naive, because this could signify naive. Um, make sure you're not being gullible. Perhaps this person sees you as gullible. So keep that in mind. Whoever you're dealing with um, does not communicate well with others. They may blackmail you. They may emotionally blackmail you. You know, they play on your feelings. They make you feel bad. You know, who the hell are you dealing with? Um, somebody that doesn't know how to love by the looks of things. Somebody that is heartless or is emotionally discontent. And it's almost like they want to take you down with them. Um... I feel like this person, it's like an energy vampire, okay? They, they're they really, really playing on your heart, whoever this person is. It feels like it's a one-sided situation where, you know, it's really, whoever you're dealing with isn't putting in. They aren't putting in the the effort to bring balance to your life. You're do, It's like you're doing all the work here. You're in a tense situation with this person. This person is in, it's like a father or a husband that treats you like a child or a boss. And I think it's causing you a lot of sorrow. I think it is. It's causing you a lot of emotional discontent. It's almost like it's heartbreaking. This is, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um... Oh my goodness gracious, Scorpio. You are... This is heartbreak. This is definitely heartbreaking. It's sad. It is sad. Um, what is this Queen of Cups reverse? It's emotional. I think this person, you know, really hurts you in some way. The High Priestess reverse. So you need to listen to your intuition. And I think that you're having a hard time listening to your intuition. You may not be listening to your gut. Um... You're not listening to your intuition, and you should be. I think you're dealing with somebody that is abusive. They are, and it's verbally, mentally abusive, okay? Um, this person may have deserted you before. Maybe if this is a father or a husband, they may have deserted you. Now they're back around, and it's was well, you were better off without them, that kind of thing. I feel like uh, this is super intense. You are in a very intense situation with an individual that is uh, unreasonable, self-centered, uh, entitled, entitled to... It's almost like this person is entitled to the payout. They're entitled to the security. They're, they're entitled to the money. And they treat you like a slave or something like that. Um, interesting. It's like the business is thriving or something like that, but you're not being treated fairly, which is interesting. I feel as though you're you're having a hard time mastering your emotions with this person. I think that you are able to, but barely, 
barely and maybe you're not i feel like it's really hard to control your emotions because this person is so mean this person is mean they are and no it feels like this is sad ah this is like a dead end it's exhausting it's frustrating it is it's frustrating it is somebody it may be affecting your health your health may be affected it feels like this person is so who the hell are you dealing with this person is so draining on you that you may ha you may have a hard time functioning because it's like when is the next ball going to drop when is this person going to step on me again you know i think that this person is causing you a lot of emotional discontent um, and you're, you're, and it feels like your gut is telling you that you need to deal with this, but you're ignoring it. It's like you're pushing down the feelings. I think that you, because you're scared of them, there's fear. I think there's extreme fear. There's fear of approaching this person. Five of Pentacles reverse. There's some sort of being left out in the cold, some kind of neglect. This is like a father figure or like I already said, a boss. There's neglect. This person is on thin ice and I think they've put you on thin ice. It feels like things are about to crack. You may need you're you may be about to crack. It feels like this person is 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 just like waiting for you to fall. It's like they're trying to make you crack. They're trying to cause you to crack. And I don't know why. Because they need to feed their ego or something like that. I feel like whoever you are dealing with is very superficial, very shallow, and they're disgraced. They're disgraced. They're disgraced over something. And it's like they want to bring their pain onto you. So what the hell? This is definitely an unhealthy relationship with somebody. That and it may it may be somebody this person may own a business maybe a business owner, uh, it feels like this person is struggling financially and it's like they want you to fix it. Mm. Yeah, somebody's went overboard. You there's there's overindulgence here. Whoever you're dealing with is dissatisfied with their own life. They're angry with the world. And I feel like they're, they have overdone it. They've tried to prove themselves to be somebody they're not. And they're trying to get you to... Uh, it's like help them rebuild. I think they want you to help them rebuild. There's financial security. You have some sort of skill. You have some sort of skill to help them rebuild their financial security. They may be saying they love you or something like that, but I'm not sure they really do. You know, it's sad. This is definitely a sad situation. There's there's a lot of dissatisfaction. This isn't what you were hoping for, put it that way. This is a lack of wish fulfillment. And I think that it's very intense and emotional for you. Because I think that you have feelings for this person. And it's not at all what you hoped for. But I think that you are starting to see who you're dealing with. And I think you do see it. But I think you've been pushing down the feelings. I feel like uh, this is definitely a dead end. You've reached the point of extreme, fr extremely frustrated. Your, your health may be even impacted. You know, you may have a hard time getting out of bed because this person is so draining. Or when you're working, you have a hard time concentrating because this person, you're so scared. There's fear. There's fear of, you know, whatever. Fear of what's next, that kind of thing. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is is a liar. Okay, this person lies. Uh, they are cold-hearted. This person is cold-hearted. I feel like they use emotional blackmail as their biggest tactic against you because they know that you have a big heart. Okay, they know that you love them. So they're able to use that against you. I feel like whoever you're dealing with um, definitely does play on your emotions. Um, they may try to make you feel like you're stupid. You know what I mean? Like you don't know anything. Mm. Whew, yeah, all is not as it seems. And I think that uh, you need to break free. My advice is for you to break free from this. This is very unhealthy. You are in a very unhealthy relationship with somebody that is based on ego. It's a very egotistical situation. 
um, all is not as it seems and I think you've come to realize that uh, that this person is not who you thought they were this this is somebody that is very materialistic that you are dealing with you are dealing with somebody that is uh, very shallow very superficial they are not who you thought they were they probably have some serious addictions drugs alcohol something like that they probably uh, waste their money on this kind of thing and they're in you know it's it's impacting you in some way it's impacting Acting the household I feel like you could thrive if you and you will thrive if you break free because this is breaking free I think things are gonna get worse before they get better because you have to break free I feel like you are a slave you are somebody's slave and and, and they you are allowing it you are allowing yourself to be you are definitely in an unhealthy relationship with somebody that is very obsessed they are obsessed with materialism okay this is not I don't think it's you I think it's somebody that you're dealing with um, it's somebody it could be somebody that has a business or something like that now this needs to end okay this is a profound change that is needed there, there could be a disaster ahead okay because the devil and the death Okay, there could be a disaster. There's destruction. There's, a, there's a, this is a time of ending. Something needs to end. This cycle needs to end. You need to uh, break free from this unhealthy situation. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because your heart is involved. But whoever you are dealing with um, is is not treating you right. They are not treating you right, and you know it, and you can't ignore it anymore. I feel like this is mentally exhausting to you and it is time for it to end. Things are only going to get worse because you have to find your strength to stand up to this person. You do. Your life deserves to be in balance. I know that this is very tense and it is going to only get tenser until you break free. So this is a month of you finding the strength to break free so that you can thrive and be comfortable and happy and stable on your own. You don't need to be with this person. You are with somebody that is has a hidden agenda and their hidden agenda is to rise above you and to be and to have you know all that money or materialism you know it's not about loving you it's about what they can get from you and it's not about love okay it's not about love and you know it good luck